Interesting facts you probably didn't know. Nearly 10% of all dreams include sex. Sex dreams aren't just the territory of horny teenage boys. In fact, nearly 1 in 10 dreams contain some R-rated sexual content, and that's true for both men and women, according to a study. Women were more likely to have sex dreams about politicians, celebrities, or their exes while men were more likely to dream about having sex with multiple partners at once. Women get erections too. Women actually get erections in their genitals and even though they're smaller than the male counterpart, they are just as important. The clitoris is made up of the same spongy erectile tissue as the penis, which expands and engorges with blood when aroused, you can observe this, just look at your clitoris or touch it when you're aroused and it will be bigger. 3% of people have no sexual fantasies at all. Think you're a freak for thinking about freaky stuff? No. Even though most people don't talk about it, fully 97% of us have sexual fantasies. The vast majority say they fantasize somewhere between several times per week and several times per day. Really, the surprising part is that there are some people who report zero sexual fantasies. A headache may actually make you more in the mood. One study found that not all headache sufferers avoid sexual activity. In fact, migraine sufferers reported higher levels of sexual desire. Study suggests that sexual desire and migraine headaches may be influenced by the same brain chemical. The clitoris is way bigger than you think it is. In addition to the part of the clitoris you can see, there's a much larger part, called the clitoral urethral vaginal complex, underneath the skin that also engorges with arousal. When a woman is aroused, the vaginal canal also lengthens as the uterus is pulled further upward into the body, the angle often changing as well. Not only is this fascinating, but it's one of the reasons that waiting for full arousal means having more pleasurable sex, sex is best when your body is ready. Want an orgasm? Leave your socks on. If you want to increase your chance of having an orgasm, keep your socks on during sex, says research. No one is sure exactly why this works but one theory is that in order to orgasm, you need to be totally relaxed and anxiety-free, and cold feet can interfere with the ability to really get into sex, especially for women. A big penis won't stretch out or ruin a vagina. A weirdly popular myth circulating on the internet these days is that having too much sex or having sex with a large partner or toy can stretch out a woman's vagina and or labia resulting in ugly, roast beef flaps. The vaginal canal is a muscle and does not permanently stretch from having accommodated a large penis or toy. The vagina is incredibly resilient and bounces back quickly. Also, the shape and size of the labia are unique to each woman and are not indicative of her sexual status or history. The G-spot exists. Except it doesn't. G-spot is a misnomer, as what we consider the spot isn't a discrete anatomical entity. Instead, it's an area of the urethral sponge that is highly sensitive for many people. But bodies and arousal are complex, and there's no surefire technique, or even erogenous zone, that works for everyone. So basically you may have a spot you identify as the G-spot, but it isn't a spot and it won't work the same for every woman. We're talking about sex more but having it less. Sex is mentioned in the media more than ever before but that's not translating to more sexy times. 
Americans in relationships reported having sex 16 fewer times per year from 2010 to 2014 compared to 2000 to 2004, according to a 2017 study. The average person's sexual peak is the same age they can rent a car. The average American will have the most sex around age 25, according to the study. People in their 20s have sex more than 80 times per year, declining to 60 times per year by age 45, and 20 times per year by age 65. Each year after the peak of sexual frequency at 25, sexual frequency declines 3.2%. When it comes to pleasure, penis girth is more important than length. Many men like to compare the length of their penises but the only people who really care about that number are other men. The vagina mainly is covered in stretch mechanoreceptors, which means that girth, or width, is a more important aspect of the penis for women, on average. Men can orgasm without ejaculating. Surprise! Orgasm and ejaculation are two distinct physiological responses in men. While ejaculation generally does coincide with an orgasm, the two actually occur in rapid succession with orgasm coming slightly before ejaculation and tapering off during ejaculation. Men can learn to differentiate between the two and to have orgasms without ejaculating. Want to do better at work? Have more sex at home? It turns out that having a happy sex life was linked with improved job satisfaction and greater engagement at work, both of which can help advance your career, according to a study. The Secret to Mind-Blowing Sex Lou Using a good personal lubricant can make all the difference between meh and amazing. Put a drop or two inside a condom before you put it on, you'll wonder why you never did this before. Most women can have more than one orgasm but few take advantage of it. Whether it's from a lack of understanding of their own bodies or a partner who is unwilling or uneducated in good sex, Many women aren't taking advantage of the fact that they can have multiple and different types of orgasms. 80% of women will experience chronic painful sex. Sex shouldn't hurt and yet the truth is that it certainly does sometimes. In fact, the vast majority of women at some point in their lives will have a condition that causes painful intercourse. Sex should never hurt. Somehow, women often get the message that sex hurts and that's just how it is. The first time may be uncomfortable but after that sex shouldn't be painful for either partner and if it is, talk to your doctor about possible causes and treatments. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new facts. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.